Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God reigns. Hallelujah. Our God reigns. Hallelujah. Ooh. Our God reigns. Forever all our days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 our God reigns, hallelujah, our God reigns, hallelujah, our God reigns, forever all our days, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. As you come on, kindly share the broadcast as you come on. Hallelujah, our God reigns. Hallelujah, our God reigns. Hallelujah, our God reigns forever, all our days. Hallelujah. We give God thanks this morning. We give God praise. We give Him glory and we give Him honor for He alone is worthy to worship and adore this is the day that god has made and we will rejoice and be exceedingly exceedingly glad in this day we are grateful grateful for this day that god has created we are grateful that we are able to see this day march 27th 20 24 how great is our god sing with me how great is our god and all will sing how great how great is our god good morning dex ill number five hallelujah Name above all names, He is worthy of all praise, and my heart will sing, How great is our God! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, my mother. Beatrice, good morning in cold, 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 cold Canada from hot, 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 hot Jamaica. <laughs> Hi. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Fort Watch Devotion at the Fort Watch Hour. Yes. My name is Marsha Wade and I'm sitting in for Pastor Rowan Wade. As I say, every day gets sweeter, sweeter than the day before. Hallelujah. We give God thanks for um, Pastor Wade's progress, um, extensive progress. And we thank you all for standing in the gap and praying him through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. United. United we stand. Hallelujah. So united we stand on Pastor Ron Wade's behalf. And we see the work of God in his life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank the Lord. And so, Father God, we just lift up our hearts to you this morning. And Lord, we repent and we renounce anything that we may have said, anything that we may have thought, anything that we may have done before we entered this life this morning. We pray even, Almighty God, that you will wash us afresh, forgive us of every form of unrighteousness we desire to be intimate with you today mighty god we desire to hear you we desire to feel you hallelujah we desire oh god to fellowship with you and so mighty god we pray that you will take total complete control of this fort watch devotion take my tongue and teach me exactly what we need to what i need to say in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we pray that every weight that seeks to be set and weigh down your people, O oh Father God, 
will be cast upon you as they enter this life in the mighty name of jesus we thank you that angels are standing guard as they enter as they press join father god this morning as they click the link Father, we thank you that angels are there removing every yoke, every burden, mighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that God, whatever we have, will be praying and whatever we will be saying and whatever we will be hearing, Father God, will go into a soil that is fertile and it will bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so, Father God, we say thank you this morning. We are expectant of your move. And we give you praise, honor, and glory for what you have already established this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we will be exceedingly glad in it. Remember to, to share, to like, and to share the broadcast share in the ignite group for me please thank you so much and sonia as you came on this morning you were the first person who came on this morning and i sense that the lord is saying to you this morning sonia that he has not forgotten you you feel like boy god where are you where are you in my situations where are you even in the situations concerning my family and god is saying to you he has not forgotten you and and just as how he has taken you out of the miry clay he took you out of the pit and it's the same way he will pull pull he will pull those of your family that you are concerned about out of the pit don't lose heart Hallelujah. Continue to believe God. Continue to pray and continue to believe God. Do not lose a heart. Hallelujah. Do not lose a heart. God has not forgotten you. You are not forgotten. He knows your name. He hears your prayers. And he wants you to know this morning, Sonia White, that he has not forgotten you. So be of good cheer. Be of good courage. Hallelujah. Be of good courage and be of good cheer. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. We praise your name. We glorify your name and we give you thanks. How great, how great, how great is our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are on gratitude and I pray that you wrote in your gratitude journals or your gratitude paper you took out your your new jar or cup or glass or whatever and you start writing in your gratitude journal there is so much that we need to be thankful for um hallelujah hallelujah there are so much to be thankful for to be grateful for hallelujah and um you know so much yesterday as i entered my house my husband was watching was 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 um the tv was on on cnn and it was i don't know if it was breaking news but the news of the the, the cargo ship that crashed into the the bridge and there are some persons that they are they cannot find right now there were cars that were crossing the bridge and there were persons that were working on the bridge and some of them are unaccounted for and so we are asking the lord this morning to step in in the name of jesus just imagine those family members this morning mighty god we pray that you will touch the hearts of the baltimore bridge touch the hearts of of the family members mighty god in the name of jesus we pray that every single unaccounted person will be accounted for in the mighty name of jesus christ father we thank you even now god for the miracles there still if 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 anyone needs to if there if there needs to be a miracle this one would take miracle and so we are asking the lord even for the miracles for lives that are unaccounted for for the lives that are persons that went over the bridge 
uh, to be found and to be found alive. We believe that there is nothing impossible with God. And so we are praying for the rescuers as well. Those who are risking their lives to go in the water to search the divers to search for these people. We pray that God's divine hand will be upon them and the comfort and the peace upon the family members as they await the news i just uh, before i even came on i i went to see the update so i know what i am saying and up to the last update that i saw there was um still no um they could not account for some person still and so i pray for the family members this morning for the peace of god to be upon them the peace that passes all understanding to be upon them even now in the mighty name of Jesus. And so we are grateful for divine protection. This morning we went out and we came back in and we are grateful for God's divine hand. The cars that we drove were piloted, were, 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 were driven by God. The, the planes that we took, persons traveled by plane yesterday persons traveled by ship yesterday and they returned to their destination and so we are grateful it's not anything that we have done but we are grateful that we were god kept us his divine protection is upon us and so father god we are grateful this morning for your divine hand in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah hallelujah we pray for the nations that are at war this morning and we pray for peace we pray for communities this morning that are at war and we pray for peace we pray for the peace of god that passes all understanding to rule in these communities to rest in these communities to to permeate these communities these nations even imminent wars rumors of wars wars that are 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 are, are being set in motion father god we decree and declare that there shall be a dis appointment oh father god the intent of the enemy concerning wars even wars to break out in communities turf wars father we decree and declare a disappointment order upon it mighty god in the name of jesus we decree and declare this morning that the hands of the enemy cannot carry out his enterprise hallelujah plead the cause of them that seeks to strive against peace oh god oh hallelujah fight against every demon and every devil that seeks to strive against peace hallelujah take all of shield and buckler and stand up for our help stand up for the help of the innocent the whole the, the help of the the orphans the help of the widows the help of the the single mothers father those who um have to be in their homes by themselves with their children stand up for our help even now mighty god in the name of jesus against the plans and purposes and the wills and the desires and the designs of the enemy in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth oh father god you are our only source hallelujah we look to you this morning the author and the finish of our faith you are the one that we look to hallelujah in the name of jesus christ proverbs psalm psalm 103 verse 13 hallelujah psalm 103 verse 13 remember to share the broadcast hallelujah psalm 103 verse 13 the lord is like a father to his children tender and compassion to those who fear him and i thank you lord this morning that you are a father to your children and you're tender and you're compassionate to us because we fear you and we do not fear god as in we are afraid of him but there is a reverential fear of god we know that he is the creator we know that he is our master we know that he is our lord and not because he's merciful and he's gracious we take him for granted and that is what fear means we respect him so we we respect him and that is what the fear in this bible means it don't mean that you're afraid and you run to hide from him and so on no hallelujah for he knows how weak we are he remembers that we are only dust and so god we thank you that you know our weaknesses 
you know our flaws you know our faults and father god when we come to you with these weaknesses when we come to you with our flaws and our faults you are faithful to forgive us of every form of unrighteousness and you remember you remember that we are born in sin and you remember that we are shaped in iniquity and that we are created beings and father god we thank you that because you remember that you are gracious you are compassionate you are merciful our days on earth are like grass like will white flowers we bloom and die the wind blows and we are gone as though we had never been here and that is so true and that is why we have to live our lives meaningful and gratitude is one way to live our life with meaning hallelujah somebody um, gave us a quote yesterday that gratitude is the flavor is like the flavor something right can you write it in the chat for me Yvonne and so we have to live our lives with gratitude because gratitude allows us to not only live but gratitude allows us to live life more abundantly and so we have to be grateful for life we have to be grateful that we are here and we have to live our lives with meaning and so we thank god for life this morning the love of the lord remains forever we thank you this morning that your love remains forever and we thank you lord that your secret sauce that flavors our lives um, gratitude is like the secret sauce that flavors our lives and so we thank God this morning for gratitude we thank God we are grateful for the secret sauce of gratitude that flavors our lives in the name of Jesus we thank God this morning that his love remains forever God love is constant and I remember pastor preaching about um, love love is supposed to be the god kind of love supposed to be constant you know supposed to be something that grows just imagine sorry excuse me just imagine if god love grew for us what would have hap happened to us if his love was at a minimal what would have happened to us if his love was was like for example 25 percent and then it start growing to 30 and then it rose to 40 i am so grateful that god love is constant and that is why um love agape love does not grow agape love does not grow it is a constant love irrespective of what the person has done what the person is able to give us what the person cannot give us um, what the person have or don't have what the person looks like or don't look like agape love the real kind of love god kind of love do, does not grow and i am grateful that god's love is constant because i wouldn't like to know if it decreased what would have happened to me if god's love decreased what would have happened to me and so i'm grateful for god's love that is constant and i am grateful for his love that remains forever are you grateful this morning are you grateful this morning hallelujah 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 is salvation extend to the children is to the children's children of those who are faithful to his covenant of those who obey his command and so father god we thank you that because we obey your command and because we are faithful to your covenant your salvation extends to our children and we pray even now this morning that every child every person on this live every person on under the sound of my voice who have children that are not saved we thank god this morning that his word says his salvation extends to our children and extends to our children's children in the mighty name of jesus we thank you lord that your word stands your word you cannot lie and so salvation even though what it looks like smell like sound like taste like 
um, even know what it looks like. Some of us are seeing some things concerning our children and it don't feel good, it don't look good, it don't sound good, it don't smell good, but I thank God that his word stands and his word says his salvation extends to those who um to our children and our children's to extend to the to the children's children and i speak that it extends to our children because we are faithful to god and we are we keep his covenant we obey his commandments we seek to obey his commandment praise the lord you angels you mighty ones who carry out his plans I thank you Lord and you listen for his commands and as we have spoken this morning we are grateful that angels are hearing our prayers angels are hearing us praying Psalm 103 and angels are moving on our behalf to do a bidding for us they are ministering to our children even now in the mighty name of Jesus they are ministering to our bosses ministering to our spouses ministering hallelujah to our friends ministering to the things that concerns us we are grateful that angels move um, according to the purpose of God according to his word and because they move according to his word they are ministering to those things that concerns us this morning yes praise the lord you armies of angel who serve him and do his will and we thank god this morning that angels are doing the will of the lord on our behalf we praise the lord hallelujah and we give him thanks he has created everything in all his kingdom verse 22 and everything that god has created is well made well done let all of us all of us who have breath this morning all of us who can inhale and we are exhaling fresh air clean air praise the lord we are grateful hallelujah hallelujah we are grateful bless the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah we give you thanks oh great and oh awesome god we glorify your name hallelujah hallelujah we give god thanks this morning we give god thanks we give god thanks hallelujah 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 thank you jesus a heart of gratitude a heart of gratitude hallelujah hallelujah okay so i i'm going to just read two two of my my gratitude what i wrote wrote down as that i am grateful for hallelujah hallelujah two things that i am grateful for i went to to get the car aligned yesterday and i said to the lord lord i'm asking you to grant me favor at this alignment place and as i went as i went there, there was this gentleman directing me right to the stand as i went i went straight up to to the stand where my car needed to align and when i when i entered the 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 parking lot there were so many cars and i said my god this place is so full and as i drove up i saw a man miss come 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 um go to stand and he told me the stand and i went up to the stand and i am grateful for that i prayed for it i prayed for the favor and god granted me favor number two thing i'm grateful for I was I while I was just walking up and down I felt you know I just felt this funny feeling in my head and in the name of Jesus I am 100% healed I am 100% healed I'm speaking healing over my blood pressure I don't have high blood pressure but sometimes my pressure goes down 
and I'm grateful that while I was feeling the feeling there was a lady there in in the in the Jamaican malls sometimes there there are nurses that they have their blood pressure machine sugar um, testing machine um, blood pressure sugar cholesterol weight they are in the malls and so while I was feeling how I was feeling I went and I just sat there and I went to get my blood pressure checked and she checked my blood pressure and she told me that my blood pressure was low and she said to me go and get a malta and so I went and I got the malta and I didn't feel it better immediately but I am grateful that I could be able to check my pressure at the time to know exactly that what I was feeling that was what was happening and I know that I, I was able to pray concerning that and so just the just the fact that these people were in the mall to grant me a service so a service was granted to me the, this why Malta because Malta contains molasses and molasses um, increases your blood pressure that is why um, persons who have high blood pressure they are not supposed to drink Malta because mo the molasses um, helps to increase the blood pressure and so Malta is good or um, um, Himalayan salt is good too but I didn't have that and so persons who have blood high blood sugar must not drink that drink because it tends to be sweet and that is one of the reasons why i don't i don't really like to drink it because it tends to be sweet but for that reason yesterday and so i am grateful for for those things um sometimes we take for granted um people who come up with solutions because that's a solution that those persons who are in these malls they provide a, a service that offers a solution that a person who normally would have to go to the hospital to sp or the doctor to spend money to go and they don't have a blood pressure machine or whatever they would have to go to doctor first get doctor to check get doctor to check blood sugar get doctor to check this and that and pay this whole heap of money this service is offered so these little I don't want to use the word little things but sometimes the reason why I use little is because it's it looks insignificant but it is really very 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 um, significant and so we have to be grateful for these these things okay not okay yes so we are grateful gratitude is recognizing that we have not done everything for ourselves but that we depend on others especially God gratitude and this is the Bible definition of gratitude gratitude is recognizing that we have not done everything for ourselves but that we depend on others especially God so yesterday I depended on the nurse who was sitting at the mall to give me a grant me a, a, a service yes I was paying the money I paid for it the service but I am grateful that she saw the need she saw a need and she supplied a need she saw a, a, a problem and she offered a solution she did not have to and so and need to appreciate them for what they have done so what they have done we appreciate them for it gratitude is the acknowledging that we recognize that something kind has been done for us which we did nothing to earn 
and so we ha we are to be grateful we did nothing to earn it we did nothing and so we show so you see gratitude is deeper than just a thank you because for example a person opens a door for us and you say thank you sometimes you just say thank you because it's a it's a it's a um uh, uh um you're just p being polite it's a default button thank you is a default button but really and truly you're not you just say thank you but you see gratitude gratitude looks deeper than thank you thank you um thank you somebody call you um thank you for calling you know really you know but gratitude goes deep deeper it's a strong feeling of appreciation a strong feeling of appreciation for something or for someone or something or for what the person has done for you has done to help you a strong feeling of appreciation of someone for or something for what the person no for so of someone for what the person has done for you so as of now you have to see deeper you have to see deeper hallelujah hallelujah we know that people we coin that a person is ungrateful when they don't say thank you am i am i telling the truth or am i lying so we say they are so ungrateful i did this for them and they did not even say thank you and so we coin ungratefulness based on a person not saying thank you so one of the signs that we look for to know whether a person is grateful or not is if the person say thank you and so thank you does not necessarily mean that the person is grateful you know that a person is grateful beyond what they say but what they do afterwards so thank you goes deeper so when you you know that a person is grateful when you see their actions that they display after the thing is done for them including a thank you and so gratitude is deeper and that is why our thoughts towards god and towards what god has done for us as to come from the vantage point of gratitude we do not do anything for ourselves if somebody you know sometimes somebody is doing something for us and they are taking too long and we are getting upset we're not paying for it the people them using them time the people them using them energy the people them using them effort and we are not paying for, for it and we are getting impatient and upset we are getting impatient impatient upset we are quarreling we are grumbling and we don't understand that the people that are doing the things for us they don't even have to do it and so when we think about even persons that come into our lives and do things for us we have to know that it is god who send them and because it is god who sends them we have to be grateful um there's a scripture i have it on my phone and i forgot that my phone i forgot that my phone holy spirit bring it back to my remembrance thank you holy spirit so let's go to philippians 2 let's go to philippians 2 hallelujah hallelujah it's a lucky thing i have a photographic memory like my mother Philippians 2 and let us look at something hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus we praise your name we glorify when we when we learn to be grateful remember to share the broadcast family remember to share when we learn to be grateful we pray differently we pray differently hallelujah we look at people differently philippians 2 says do everything without complaining or arguing 
so that no one can criticize you do everything without complaining or arguing what does everything mean everything means all that you do without complaining complaining is a signal of ungratefulness complaining is a signal of ungratefulness the very fact that you are capable of doing the thing is something to be grateful for so when we complain that we are the ones that have to do it and when we complain that we have to do it the very fact that you can do it you know many people right now wish that they were in the position to do it whatever that it is whatever that it is do everything without complaining and arguing some of us we cost more everything everything and so they said so that no one can criticize you what does that mean as ambassadors as lights as people who are lit by god when people look on they will know that you are a complainer they will know that you are very argumentative so that people will not criticize you some of the criticism is i you say a christian some of the criticism is as she love talk about God. Some of the criticism is and him set him a church goer. Some of the criticism is and them say them a pastor. That's why me, none of them can tell me about church. Talk the truth. Let us speak the truth and shame the devil. Because every single time they hear you, you are complaining. You are arguing. You are arguing with the boss. You are arguing with your husband. And then you tell your children, come, put on your clothes. Come, God, church. Come, God, church. And the children are saying, no, talk the truth. No, the only reason why they put on the clothes is because you are mommy or you are daddy and they must but in their heart they are saying i can't every time we hear mommy and daddy is pure quarreling pure quarreling pure quarreling live <coughs> sorry. <coughs> sorry excuse me He says, live clean, innocent lives as children of God. Live clean, innocent lives as lights. The Bible says, let your light so shine. We did it last week. Matthew 5, 5 verse 16, I think. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. And so it says, live clean, innocent lives. That means a complainer doesn't live a clean life. A, a person who is argumentative does not live a clean life. Because an argumentative person shows what is in your heart. When you love couscous, it shows what is in your heart. When you love to complain, it shows what is in your heart. When you love to complain, it shows where your focus is. Your focus is on negative. Your focus is just on negative. Your focus is not on God. Your focus is on the winds and the waves and not on God. But it says, shining light, bright light. See it there? We're going back to Matthew 5 verse 16. Shining light, bright lights in the world full of crooked and perverse people so the world already have the complainers the world already have the complainers the world already have the crooked people so how is it that we are light and we are joining the crooked and and perverse people with the complaining listen you have some people at work you see you have some people at work they never see anything good in anybody or anyone anyone are in anything it's always something to complain about and if you as a light 
is the person that they come to complain to you have to check yourself in the mirror anytime you become the person that they come to complain to check yourself in the mirror they are finding themselves in you that means your light not shining so bright or your light turn off so as lights we have to do everything hold firmly to the word of life verse 16 on the day of Christ's return I will be proud that I did not run the race in vain and that my work was not useless so this is this is um this is Paul talking to the Philippians but this is Jesus talking to us as well he says don't allow me to run my race in vain because of your lifestyle of complaining we see what happened to the Israelites because all they did was complain 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 God does not like a complainer and um, so let's go to Colossians 3 verse 23 well that one I wrote them down but I it's in my phone so I put it in my phone let me see if I can find it let me see if it is verse 23 oh yes verse 23 says work willingly and whatever you do do as though you were working for the lord rather than, than for people so it piggybacks on doing everything without complaining it says when you are working when you are working you are not working for people yes it looks like you're working for your boss but you are not really working for your boss you are actually working for god and it says work willingly at whatever you do as though you were working for the lord rather than for people so god is at the forefront of what you are doing god is at the forefront of what you are doing and so it is saying to us if we are grateful to god for the job if we are grateful to god to serve our family if we are grateful to god for our husbands if we are grateful to god for our children if we are grateful to god to be at church to be a part of a ministry to be a part of church if we are grateful to god for the ministry that god has placed us in we will demonstrate gratitude and so we are not doing anything for pastor we are not doing anything for for um for the, the the choir the leader we're not doing anything for for your boss every time if we and i'm not talking about you i'm talking about me too i'm not talking to you alone i'm talking about us if we realize that whatever we are doing is for god we will do it to the best of our ability we will not look at the person that that it is being done for because some of the times the people that are we are doing the thing for even the very way they speak to us even the very way they speak to us will give you um this this unction in a spirit that you, you know I, I, i'm not doing it i'm not doing it but it is because we need to pay a mountain we, we do it because we need to pay a mountain and for the people who um feel like they we we owe them something we don't bother do it because you, you see oh you talk to me now i'm not even going to bother do it for you because you can because that person is not paying us at the mountain but when we boss talk to we 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 do it same way because that one is paying us mountain and we must pay with bills but god is saying whether or not the person because we are not doing it for the person so we must focus on the person we must focus on the people we must focus on i am doing this thing for god and i'm not doing it for the person and so even if the person is obnoxious even if the person are they supposed to be manageable yes some of them i'm telling you some of them don't know better do you know i can't tell you that some of them don't know better listen listen on our love tour when we go on our love tour I remember one 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 once on our love tour it happened more than one time once on our love tour um we were giving out we were giving out food packages we normally, as i said we normally give out food packages and 
So while we were there now, um, one of the persons on the love tour, um, she, she on, on behalf of her late brother, she had some monies in some envelope. He normally did outreach, but he passed and he left some money and so that money oh sorry sorry guys i'm moving the chair so that money that he left now he she now put it in envelopes to give out to the poor because our brother if he was alive would have done that every christmas and so while we were there now we were giving out stuff and unfortunately one of the persons who um we were giving this stuff to came late and when he came now, the packages were finished and I the envelopes. The envelopes were finished. Unugue! Ah, one of the more on the things. And he cursed 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 and he was extremely upset. And guess what guys? When we looked in the van one package was there up in a corner hiding what do you think we should have done do you think we should have given him because of how he behaved what do you think what do you think guess what we did we took out the package and we blessed him with it we took out the package and we blessed him with it because guess what happened how he behaves that's obvious it's obvious that him don't know better that's number one he feels that you're obligated to him number two and we were not giving him the package we were not giving out package because we wanted a thank you from any of them the package was being given out because it's a mandate from heaven the mandate from heaven so we must remember the poor the mandate from heaven so we must remember the orphans and the widow and so as a result of the mandate of from heaven we gave him we gave him the package same for people's mouth cause them to miss out on their blessings but 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 it, that is true but but if we are giving it and uh, as unto god it won't be and i will give you a testimony about that minister stephen about that people more thing but i wasn't mature in what i am i i i did as i said when the people when it is that the person who is speaking is an authority and and i use work I use work because normally at work is so we behave and it's just true when it is that the person that is being disrespectful we benefit from them we tend to do the thing irrespective of how disrespectful they are because at the end of the day they have something that we want just like how you go back you still go to class even when your 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 teacher is obnoxious and rude you still go to class you don't skip class because you pay you still go to school you still go to class because you need to get your degree i need to get my masters i need to get my doctorate and yes my, my i have one of the worst teachers in the world they don't have no manners you call them and they're telling you go and read your book and and they, they run you and whatever but you still go to university because you pay your money so when we have the end result is that the person has something that we need to be advanced we tend to be um we tend to do it anyway we tend to do it anyway but whenever the person who is being obnoxious are rude disrespectful they have without it is us who must um advance them we tend not to do it and god is saying this morning that's not how it works everything that we do must be done unto god yes everything that we do must be done unto god irrespective of who the person is because we cannot look on the person's behavior and say and be, and become evil we are not to be evil because of a person's behavior and 
we do it all the time and it's something that we have to grow past and as minister Stephen said people mouth listen to me now i have a testimony about that i remember there is a particular person that every month every month i used to set aside a particular amount of money to give that person and so so every month a particular time i would give that person the money and one on this particular month now i was about to go in my bag to take out this amount of money to give the person just just a bless just to bless the person it was nothing just a blessing i'm going to give the person the person said to me how much is it for um I can't use the money. How much is it for a hundred US? As of, at, at that at that time, a hundred US was I think about a hundred dollar per um for a hundred US. And the person says, "How much is it for a hundred US?" And I told them, and I said, "Where did you get a hundred US from?" And the person say, "Um, X person send me hundred US, and I like you. Uh, every month you just give me this, 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 this. Every month you just uh, give me this. So 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 the person was saying every month." you just give me this but this person send me a big money and you just uh, give me this every month you just uh, give me this every month guys i mean i had my hand on the money i had my hand on the money and while i had my hand on the money coming out of the bag to give the person the person asked me how much for a hundred us guys i said to you and i kid you not the money was ashamed i was ashamed because i was just about to give the person the money I was ashamed and the money was also ashamed. I take my time and I push back the money down in my bag. And I did not give the person money for years. For years, 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 years. I did not give the person any money for years because I said to myself, what an ungrateful smuddy. But after knowledge, after knowledge after knowledge i started giving back the person money because it was not about the person it was about my heart it showed me my heart hallelujah and so i'm saying to us this morning sometimes you have the people them who are ungrateful but we still must look to, look back on the fact that we are in a position to be of a blessing to the person give me one minute give me one minute hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, sorry. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And right. So it says, it says, uh, where are we? Serve them sincerely because of your reverential fear of the Lord. Oh, it's, it is verse 24. Verse 23. Work willingly. And so our attitude must be one of willing. Um, I don't know if there's a word called willingfulness. We need some teachers on the live. To, to, some, some English pro. I don't see Raquel this morning. Uh, willingness. Of course you have willingness. Work willingly at whatever you do. As though you were working for the Lord. Rather than for people. There is another one. I think it is in Colossians 2. Another one that says, um, whatever you do in work or deed, do it in, do it as unto God. Hallelujah. Whatever you do in work or deed. Can you find that one for me? Whatever you do in work or deed, do it unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Whatever you do in work or deed. In word, in word. Whatever you do 
whatever you do in word or deed colossians 3 verse 17 yes so those three scriptures so all of them come in line colossians 3 verse 17 says verse 17 says and whatever you do or say do it as a representative of the lord you see that you see it comes back he said do it as a representative of the lord jesus giving thanks through him to god the father so you're doing it as a representative of the lord and so whenever we're doing things we're not supposed to be complaining we're not supposed to be arguing because we represent the kingdom of god so all of it comes back three scriptures tie in together and how do you do um how, how do you keep focus on the ability that god has given you to do you have to maintain a heart of gratitude listen guys there are so many people who desires i'm not saying all of us are going to repeat the third scripture it is um colossians 3 verse colossians 3 verse 17 colossians 3 verse 17 And whatever you do or say, do it as, as a representative of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. So, all three of them, Colossians 3 verse 23 and Philippians 2 verses, Philippians 2. Who remember the Philippians one? Philippians 2. So can somebody put up the philippians one for marvin for me please thank you so much hallelujah and so we give god thanks this morning and we give him praise this morning and we give him glory this morning hallelujah 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 and let me tell you something let me tell you something guys sometimes we we may be going through an issue and um an issue at work let me use work sometimes we may be going through an issue at work and while god is working through us the boss is also watching us they watch our attitudes you know and sometimes you will see somebody new fresh off the press come six months and get a promotion and you are there struggling same way when when um the only reason and guys i have to be truthful because i have to say what the holy spirit is putting on my tongue the only reason why some of us believers may i tell you the truth because the only reason why some believers don't get fired is because if the boss fire them they are going to have to pay them this big lump sum of money and because of that they keep them it is just the truth they keep them because they have this they are there for so long and they have this whole heap of money so the boss is sometimes frustrating some people out of the work they just want them to resign so when they resign they don't have to pay i'm telling you i'm telling you i am telling you pastor and i and it's just the truth i have to be truthful because i am saying to us we have to be beacons of transformation it's true some reason why some we not get fire yet a true boss have to fork out too much money so it's either either you're going to retire out of the job or you're going to fire you're going to resign out of the job but them just keep you because they're not paid they said i will not pay out this whole heap of money to get rid of this person so let that way frustrate the whole daylight out of them because of the attitudes that we bring to the table um pastor and i we have gotten jobs of persons we write recommendations of persons and guys these are believers we write recommendation for them and we get bosses calling our phones p calling our phones p bosses calling our phones concerning yes we did uh psalm 103 verses 13 to the end as well calling our phones concerning the people that we recommend these are people that are supposed to be representations of light 
they are lit people and they are calling and they called and they complained over and over again not the same people different people but the same attitude same attitude different people same source from which they were recommended and then when they get dismissed they come back for another recommendation again they come back for another recommendation boss call in your phone experts don't come to work you know why they call us because it's we recommend the people you know where they are i don't get any call from this person this person is on the job sleeping this person is on the job misbehaving this person listen guys i'm telling you i am telling you and then we tend to when we are disrespectful we tend to be telling people about our god like watch and see what god are gonna do to uno like really watch and see um you think my god play really and so we are purporting and we are we are ad we are telling them about god and our behavior and our right you know and then we are going to tell the people about what we god ever do and my god my god don't play I'm, and i'm going to go into my prayer closet with my god with my god eh? but god is also seeing that we are not giving of ourselves a hundred percent god is also seeing the complaining god is also seeing the the, the backbiting god is also seeing the gossiping god is also seeing the 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 the, 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 dis, the disrespectful behaviors and then know when when our bosses um is either they dismiss us or when they, they put us on probation or we're telling them about watch what our god going to do then. watch what our god our god god you think say god god and so we have to be beacons of transformation beacons of light beacons of change we have to be it for the people who are perishing and so this morning i want us to just be grateful for our jobs so today i want you to write in your gratitude five things about your job that you are grateful for just your job alone just your job for those who are retired write five things about your house your whole soul all right five things about your job that you were grateful for and you just said god i thank you that i was able to since you retire you was and so some persons who are even still feeling the sting of their job and they are retired you will see how much of a benefit that job was to you some of you are able to pick to get your pension because of that very job and so the very fact that you can get money every month same way that's something to be grateful for father i thank you for my job because i am i'm a i'm a beneficiary of uh of 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 retirement funds as a result of my job i was able to pay insurance as a result of my job and so because i was able to pay insurance over the years yes at the end now i have some money in my insurance account i still have an insurance account you see there is so many little things that we need to be grateful for so i want us to be grateful for our jobs i am a pastor that's a job that i am in gratitude be grateful be grateful for what god has given unto us so we give him thanks this morning we glorify him and we give him praise for our jobs in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth all right let me continue with um with just just benefits of gratitude and then we finish because we are doing gratitude for the end of the the, the the month and um we need to get it it needs to be soaked in our system it needs to be soaked in our dna and so these are health health benefits of gratitude and it's studies done by doctors so this is not biblical you know 
It's not from the Bible. It is just telling you what doctors study over the years with persons who they do their um their study and and survey or whatever and they drew this conclusion about gratitude benefits of gratitude reduce depression reduce depression it lessens anxiety so when your mind is not going on things that are happening around you and um, things that will cause you to be sad or things that are not going right for you and you focus on that you're you you, you you are you are more likely not to go off into depression you are more likely not to be anxious because you are so grateful for what you currently have and so some people they don't have a they they want a change of car but the most important thing is that you have a car and the car is taking you to a place and b place but because you want a new car you're just um anxious 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 i need a car i need a car i need a car so it lessens anxiety when you are grateful it support heart health <coughs> you hear that <clears throat> so gratitude helps us to have a healthy heart gratitude helps us to have a healthy heart it relieves stress because we need to understand that stress anxiety and depression and those things they weigh down on your heart they weigh down on your natural heart, not your that they weigh down on your mind too, but it weighs though. You feel some the, your heart get heavy. <clears throat> you feel the pain comes in your heart. When a person gets um a broken heart, pass away. When a person gets a broken heart, this is where you feel it. Your heart get heavy, you feel some pains in your heart, your literal heart. But it go the information goes in your brain. Can I get some more water, please? <coughs> warm, warm water, please. Thank you. Right, the information goes to your brain, but you feel this heaviness in your heart. And so your heart string, after a while, your heart string, your heart string can manage it. And so when you have a, a mind that is clear, a mind that is 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 clear and free from anxiety and stress and worry and all of that your heart free you feel you, you don't feel anything down here so in, a, in your literal heart so it improves your heart health improves your sleep <clears throat> it improves sleep by decreasing stress hormones so you get a good little sleep you know sleep is very good you have some people that are sleeping though but they are not resting and so gratitude helps you to rest you go to your bed with a clear mind you sleep sound <coughs> sorry you sleep sound because you are grateful what a wonderful thing yes you lie and sleep in peace it releases serotonin and and dopamine chemicals in the brain that are associated associated with happiness and pleasure so some chemicals are released in your brain when you are grateful that that helps you to be happy and um associated with happiness and pleasure you get higher self-esteem so your self-esteem is increased with gratitude improves the quality of your relationships yes people will want to be around you people will want to do things for you when you are grateful so when you're grateful the more you're grateful is the more people want to be around you the more you're grateful is the more people want to do for you and we're not talking about people who know that you're supposed to do for the person whether or not they are grateful or not we're talking about people in general it's not everybody is privy to um, this information that you don't wait on gratitude for to do things for people so people people in general will just want to do things for you because you are grateful and they want to be around you you think about it people who are ungrateful and people who are grumpy and complaining all the time every time you call them you call them phone you say Jesus sometimes yesterday calling you say Jesus speak the truth 
speak the truth and so gratitude builds the quality of our relationships and the last one it decreases blood pressure well my one don't need to decrease anymore but <laughs> but gratitude so you have some people who are walking up and down with high blood pressure and they go to doctor doctor said be grateful niece be grateful sir be grateful for what you have why is it that you're having high blood pressure because me no read me 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 me, me wait pan um the, the loan for come through for me get the car and me need to get the car and the loan no come through yet and me and anxiety kick in and when the bible already told us be anxious for nothing so when it says um less no anxiety the bible is telling us that we are to be grateful and the doctors are telling us that gratitude lessens anxiety the Bible said be anxious or nothing. Why? Because the Bible, God knows that anxiety brings on all kind of sickness on people. And doctors are telling us that gratitude lessens anxiety. So the Bible is saying be anxious or nothing but be grateful. Be grateful for what you have. Be anxious for nothing. Doctors say gratitude lessens anxiety. And so we know that God desires for us to be grateful for the things that he has done, the things that he is doing, and the things that he continues to do. And so we thank God for, for this information. We thank God that this information is like it provides deliverance. It is like a deliverance mechanism for us. Just to be grateful. Just to be grateful. Be grateful for people in our lives. Be grateful you have people in your atmosphere you have your people around you be grateful the bus may come late but be grateful that the bus come be grateful that you are able to pay your bus fare be grateful hallelujah hallelujah you know sometimes we're in the bank line yes we understand that they can take long but it's good that you can be in the bank line because that means more than one one of two things is either you're going to collect money you're going to collect money or you're going to pay some money. The fact that you have money to pay is something to be grateful for. The, the fact that you have money to collect is something to be grateful for. The fact that you have money to withdraw is something to be grateful for. Listen, just be grateful because you have some persons who don't even, furthermore, they don't even have a birth certificate, much less to have bank account, much less to have money in the bank put on, much less to go and withdraw. And so we are always we're always at a position that other persons we are in a better position than so many other people and so we must have a heart of gratitude so we thank God this morning for his word hallelujah 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 thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord and we seal our morning's devotion on gratitude with the body and the blood just telling god thank you lord for your body and your blood we thank you for what it represents it represents you it represents your love it represents your sacrifice it represents your faithfulness and it represents your your desire to keep us connected to you and so we we are thankful and we are grateful for what you have done for us lord we eat and we drink in remembrance of your unconditional love towards us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. hallelujah thank you jesus give thanks with a grateful heart so you see that um part thanksgiving don't necessarily means grateful so the the song says give thanks with a grateful heart meaning that you go deeper when you are saying thanks when you're giving thanks to god it's deeper than just thank you lord thank you lord for food it's deeper lord i am thankful for food because without you god i wouldn't have anything to eat 
And so, be grateful. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We praise your name. Hallelujah. We give you thanks. We give you glory. We give you honor. Hallelujah. Sister Joan, I'm going to call you out this morning. I'm going to call you out this morning. Hallelujah. We give God thanks. And we give God praise. I hear, I hear in my spirit, I sense the Lord is saying to, to you, Sister Joan, what are you doing with all that you have learned over the years, your, your, your wealth of experience? Who is benefiting from the wealth of experience that you have garnered over the years? And I'm going out on a limb because I am going to say what is in my head. Hallelujah. I am inviting you because I'm sensing that you have a voice and you're not using your voice. Thank you, Pastor. You're not using your voice. Um, God desires for you to use what he has deposited in you over the years, my dear. And so I am inviting you to be one of my guests and I'm doing it publicly because I am calling you out this morning according to the leading of God um, to be one of my guests on Women Without Blemish in the month of not April but in the month of May where I will get persons that are mature experiential persons persons who have been through been there done that to minister to us on Women Without Blemish and Sister Joan Jones you are number one and so I seal it this morning with a public service announcement. Hallelujah. So we give God thanks for that yes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, that's a wall right there. Yeah, man. Beatrice Beckford is number two too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mature people who have a wealth of experience to share and to to deposit and to download hallelujah in all of us whether we are the same ages or no most of us have not gone through what you have been through and god has taken you through it and we desire to be best by it in the name of jesus christ of nazareth so we give that thanks hallelujah 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 jesus we praise your name Alice, Ali, sing, Halle, sing, Halle, sing, hallelujah. Father God, even now we thank you for that financial breakthrough for Ali, sing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we thank you for a restoration of our finances and a breakthrough in our finances in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, we pray for an activation of even divine connections, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We pray even for an activation for um, unpaid, paid, unpaid, paid, retroactive monies, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, monies that were owed to her that she didn't even know. Father God, we pray for a release Oh God, in the name of Jesus, for a financial overflow for Alice Singh in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We give you praise, God. We give you glory. And we give you thanks in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Brenda, um, I'm sensing that this gratitude, this gratitude topic is a topic that you must take to heart. And I mean, you must take it to heart. I mean, you must take it to heart. Because as you become more grateful, grateful in small things, I mean, like some simple things, if even somebody opened the door for you, as you start to rock up the gratitude meter, you know, like a car meter, you know, like a car, as the more you put your foot on the gas, is the higher the meter goes. I am seeing for you, the more you put your foot on the gratitude meter, 
is the higher it goes it will go in your life and the more you will just see things start to change around you what i am sensing is that your mind your mind attracts some things in your space your mind you are a beneficiary of the things that you think and the things that you say as a result of you think of what you think and so god desires for you to see the very little minute thing i mean minute as as this as small as this and i'm giving you examples brenda as small as this if you look in your cupboard and the only thing that is in your cupboard is a tin of baked beans you start being grateful for it just rack up the gratitude meter and you will start seeing things just start changing the thing one of the the thing that will change first of all is how you feel in your body how you start feeling in your body how you start feeling about yourself or you start feeling in your body and then you will start seeing the things around you just start to change and so this this devotion take it to heart go back replay it and i encourage all of us replay it, take it to heart make it become so personal for you because you are asking the lord for change and the change is with your gratitude how grateful are you with what you already have hallelujah hallelujah we thank you jesus for your word this morning can somebody type in in um tiktok so i know that you are there hallelujah hallelujah we praise your name hallelujah 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 okay so otis caroline on on um Instagram, are you still on? Just type if you are on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Um, as I saw your name, both of you, both Otis and otis and sophia i have this i felt this pain just i uh, just a little slight pain in my head um i'm sensing the lord desires for me to pray for both of you head and so father god even now we thank you we thank you father god that you are indeed a healer we thank you oh father god for a sound mind wisdom knowledge and understanding shall be the portion of these two women in the mighty name of jesus we pray oh god for the wisdom to maneuver the wisdom to understand the wisdom oh, to, oh god to to find solutions in the mighty name of jesus christ the wisdom oh god to know the directions in which they are to go in the mighty name of jesus we come against every spirit of confusion in the mighty name of jesus every spirit of 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 anxiety every spirit of fear in the mighty name of jesus christ and i speak your peace upon their minds i speak your peace upon their brains i speak your peace oh god upon every tissue and every fiber of their 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 head uh mighty god in the name of jesus i pray that all all everything that is inside the brain the blood the, the arteries everything that is running is running well in the mighty name of jesus i come against any form of sickness and any form of disease in the mighty name of jesus and i speak total wholeness in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i pray upon the, your head head hallelujah in the name of jesus christ thank you lord that it is so and it is done in jesus mighty and much listening hallelujah hallelujah in jesus name Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Doreen Beckford, it's your first time. It's so good to have you. I I my 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 um maiden name is Beckford. Are you from Saint Elizabeth? And it's good to have you. We welcome you. Um, feel free to invite others tomorrow. 
um, on the fourth watch, we are on gratitude. We will look on other aspects of gratitude um, tomorrow. Um, so we'll do that for the rest of the month because we are transitioning into the month of April with gratitude in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And so, so Beckford, um, what I'm sensing that the Lord is saying to you this morning, oh, you're a Beckford through marriage. Okay, so maybe your husband is a, um, what I'm sensing that the Lord is saying to you is like, when I, when I see your name, I just see people and the people is like family, family, family members, people, family. Um, I'm sensing that there has been some form of disagreement and some things that will cause pain and agony and hurt and all of that. But what the first and foremost thing is that God desires for you to forgive and also God desires for you to be grateful for them. And so, so the gratitude, um, having gratitude for them, seeing the good instead of what the negative things that the enemy, the enemy, I don't want to really, I, I want to be very guarded in what I'm saying. Um, what the enemy has thrown in, see it, see it as see the enemy for who he is and see the good for who they are and be grateful for what you have. And so out of all of that, there will come a, 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 a need to just forgive and move forward. All right? Forgive and move forward. And so in the current and, and going back, just think about just the things that come, occur, and, and, and what I'm seeing is just family, family, family. And so we have to, we have to recognize this Satan for who he is. And sometimes we as believers, we want uh, people who are operating from the kingdom of darkness to act like they must see it, like they are Christians. Sin as sin, and that's what they do. Sin as sin, and they operate from Satan's influence. And also, if we as Christians also can fall in that category where Satan influence you and we obey, just imagine. And so, um, Doreen, that's my word for you this morning. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Bless you. We give God thanks for you. Um, on behalf of Pastor Ron Wade, I want to say just thank you for being a part of the Fourth Watch Hour with me. And as we continue on the, the topic of gratitude, let us be grateful today. Hallelujah. Bless you, Doreen. Let us be grateful today for what God has done, what God has said, and what he will continue to do in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, go forth and have an amazing day. God's way for our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day is way in jesus name remember jesus love you i will love the wall of honor too hallelujah on behalf of pastor ron wade have a fantastic rest of the angela gray i am going to just say this um to you and then that's it um i am i am feeling as i say um broken heartedness starts from the mind and it comes in your heart you feel it the heaviness i'm feeling this weight this heaviness concerning you and what i'm sensing is that you are going through an issue that is weighing heavily on your heart it's very painful angela gray and it is weighing heavily on your heart but god desires for you my dear sister to just give it to him just give it to him. And as I said to Doreen a while ago, you know, sometimes people, we will get hurt. Circumstances will hurt us. But if we keep a heart of gratitude, it starts, it starts helping how we feel. And so just give it to God. Go to God. Give it to God. Um, tell God to take it away. Take this, this heaviness. 
away from you and just let um just move forward in the peace of god that passes all understanding and so father god we thank you for your peace that passes all understanding over angela in the mighty name of jesus christ the peace that the peace to move in the gift of peace that you have granted unto her before the foundations of the world we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor and we give you thanks in jesus name amen guys remember um what you have learned act upon it because god would would not have given us this if he did not want us to act upon it so act upon it make sure you're you're acting upon what you have have, have learned so that you can walk in it, in the benefits of gratitude as you have learned all right bless you guys have a productive rest of day bye